So what do we have here first? Well, I think we have to start with the V20. Yeah, okay. so let's start with the V20. A little, it's a little fingerprinty, but here, here we go. You want this? Well, yes, I do. There, you go. there have a little there towel. You there you go. Pro oh, production values matter. All right. So, <laughs> All right. thank you. Thank there you, you go. sir. I'll just call me the gaffer. So this is this is the V20, the LG V20. It's a successor to the LG V10, which was the phone that they introduced last year as sort of for content creators, people to, you know, you want to make a video on the go. You know, apparently Joseph Gordon-Levitt is using this for his hit record company. Um, is he, was he again choosing featured. to use it or is he getting paid to use it? I mean, I we'd have to ask Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, I guess to so. be He's quite honest, we, we should ask him. And I feel like if we tweeted him, maybe he would respond. Yeah, he probably that would. That would well, just make my that. heart. That would make my heart flutter. Um, too bad he's married. Anyway. <clears throat> wow, uh, too bad you're engaged. It's okay. I have four weeks. Um, anyway. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just kidding. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, that's your chance. <laughs> Uh, so the LG V20 has a 5.7 inch Quad HD IPS display. So it's not super AMOLED like uh, the Samsung phones, but it doesn't matter because it's still very pretty. We have a second screen here at the top. This is a completely different screen from this screen, uh, from the bottom 5.7 inch screen. And actually when you turn it off, my goodness, this is- Wait, it's got a smaller screen yeah, so it's got above a smaller, the big screen? It's got a smaller screen here. Turn what is this, off. Pimp Your Ride? Uh, pimp My I heard you ride. like screens, so I put a screen yeah, in your see, screen. Yeah, and see, you have like all these quick access shortcuts, you know, to your flashlight and Bluetooth this and all like that. This is like a Samsung thing. Yeah, and kind well, of. it's also really nice because your notifications will appear up here, so they're not taking a part of this screen. That's Which is cool. also kind of nice because you get that little little added bit of screen space over here. Um, I appreciate it. It's really good for, you know, if this is a media phone, you want to use the whole screen to, to its capacity. Um, inside, it's got, you know, your typical Snapdragon 820, uh, three gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, micro SD expansion. Uh, the best part of this phone though, I mean, besides its cameras, which we'll get to, but the best, I guess, physical part of this phone is that you can just open it. <gasps> wow, that's like old school. Just like, for real. And yeah. just like pop in your SIM and your micro SD card and then take out the battery if you want. Um, this is a this is old school. Three, 3,200 milliamp battery pack. Um, which is awesome. On the back here, we have, and see, it just like snaps back like that. There's a little um, <laughs> button right here. That's like that so reminiscent of a couple it, of years ago. Undoes it, undoes so it. Phones. Um, you have to remember to snap it back together. On the back, we have dual cameras. We have a 16 megapixel, which shoots at an aperture of 1.8. And we have a eight megapixel wide angle camera, which is great. You can switch between them, uh, just like on the V10. Um, and I believe the G5 had this as well or at least the wide angle, regular mm -hmm. angle um, abilities. We have flash. Um, on the front, it is five megapixels, which also includes wide angle and includes, the big thing about the V20 is that it includes three HD mics with studio mode for improved loudness controls. Um, it's also 32 bit hi-fi quad DAC, uh, it uses, 32-bit Hi-Fi Quad DAC for improved audio, which you can totally hear when you're listening to music. Um, now yeah, I am instant. I'm silly, and I didn't offload any I didn't offload any music before I left the house, um, but I did download Digitally Imported uh, so we could test it out. But if you guys want to talk talk about mm. the V20 while I enter so it. okay, so it has the it has oh, no, the screen up at the very top, which are, are you finding that useful? Is it, a, is it a useful yeah. kind of it's addition? Not it's not. Did you find the um, the edge useful in the same way? Very plinky, plinky. Uh, oh, so you want I the wonder, speaker? Oh, oh, and it has yeah. a headphone jack. Point, yeah. Oh, a headphone jack! Yay! Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Nope. Hmm? Hold on. Hmm. I'm just trying to make Mac and Josh's life crazy. Yeah, we're just going to throw them for a loop. Audio? Oh, I hear it. There it comes. What are you listening to? Future Beats, the station on Digitally Imported. FYI, I'm a subscriber to Digitally Imported. I just really love them. Anyway, um, an interesting it's song. No, it's great. And look, it, you can see up here. Uh, you missed it anyway. It's yeah, okay. That's okay. But you saw the playback yeah. controls are at the top. You know, all the notification stuff happens. So I like having this. I'm not really a fan of the shortcuts. 
there at the top. I don't really use shortcuts. Okay. I like it for notifications though. But That's for pretty notifications cool. That's and really to have like your music controls in there. And okay. honestly, I've been I've been ra I've been ra I don't know what the verb I want to use here. I've been saying this whole year. Uh, that I want to see innovation in hardware. I want to see different yeah. things. I liked the LG G5 because of the modular thing, even though it was a bad execution. This seems like a neat, neat little, like, how can we change the way you interact with the phone? Similar to the Edge, yeah. but in, you know, that's pretty cool. Well, this I feel like the Edge been... got criticized a little bit yeah. for the usefulness of the side thing. And I'm trying to figure out, like, if, if, well, I mean, if this is more usable, even though they're kind of doing the same thing, but this is like... It's not more usable. View, it's just but, extra screen. Uh, yeah. It's just a second screen. Yeah. yeah. And when you turn it off, like in the in the sunlight, you can see like the two screens. You see the you two the physical. Thing. Yeah. Um, I would love oh, a teardown of it to see the. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. you know I, I personally would rather just have it off, just have really? it be like a black bar. Um, I like it this way with the with the always on at the top, so you can see the time. That's nice. That's pretty I, cool. Like, but I, does I, that drain the battery or? No. No. It's like oh. I mean, it's like any always on screen. You know, it's it's, it's always on. It's always on, and it's not really using battery. So you're telling um, me this always well, on screen is always on. It's using some but battery. But part of the conversation at the V20 Aww. that we've we've been sort of having in the Android oh, community, that, cool. mm -hmm. this should have been the G5. That's cool. I think the G5 was kind of a it was a messy rollout, and yeah. this feels like flagship worthy. Yeah, well, that's um, what a lot of people you know, are actually saying. Like, this is the flagship nice. that LG needed. Don't you like the way it's it's not, it's not the it has a really it's, nice it's feel? It's actually it. lighter. It's not the flagship they wanted, but it's the one they it's they needed. It's lighter than the Note 7 BT dubs, like by a fraction. Wow. What is but you this can just on sense the side? it. That's the one that open, takes the back panel off. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. That's, yeah, it's just that's a so thing. prominent for a, a panel. And ladies, yeah. it's yeah. manicure friendly. Which so? BT dubs the G5 is not. How so? Oh, the button. The, the button, button to take off. You yeah. just press it. You Got don't. It. Yeah. The no, G5. It you have to actually right sort yeah. of like. That's like pop the off. easiest backplate popping mm -hmm. off I've ever seen. Absolutely. So, um, I like the top, the second screen for um, what I used to use for my uh, the little widget on my screen to control the Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on and off. Like, uh -huh. That's very. Cool. Yeah, I like that as well. It's oh. really great. Cool. It's I got a really that. nice feel. The, the design yeah. is. Uh, yeah. And by the way, pleasant. I misspoke. It was four gigs of RAM, and not three. Oy, oy, oy. My brain. Okay. This is nice. I like it. Yeah. So I'm gonna dive into it. Um, we, you know, we'll have the review later, and uh, cool. I'm gonna be playing with it for the week, and and I'll have a couple of uh, cool. articles up. So just as an aside, though, oh my gosh, I didn't even mention this in the beginning, and I apologize. This is the Korean like preview variant. This is actually not the final hardware. Okay. What will <laughs> Should be different? Should have mentioned that in the beginning. I'm what sorry, will be different? Um, usually, so what happened, the, uh, LG did this with the G5 uh, with us journos. They sent us a preview unit and they sent us a real unit afterwards. Usually it's just software tweaks. Um, the bands in it aren't, it doesn't have all the US bands. Okay. Um, also, we did get a query about the V20 in, which I just want to address very quickly before we move on. Uh, this one's from Adam. He says he's watched a lot of YouTube videos about the V20 and it looks like the American model does not have the Bang & Olufsen emblem on the back. Is the American version of this phone not going to receive the B&O treatment, including the tuning speakers and B&O headphones? And actually, Adam, um, it's not. So it will not include any of those tweaks in the U.S., but overseas in Asia, it will. Uh, one way that LG is trying to sort of like tide this over is it will include B&O headphones or well actually we're not completely sure about that either. Um, we're, there's still a query out about it. Hmm. Um, to, to LG about whether or not that's going to be um, the marketing right. spiel going forward. Uh, so we shall see. I mean, review units haven't gone out yet. This is still in preview mode. Cool. So we'll see what the sales strategy for it will be. I really like the design of it. Like uh, I way do. more than, than the previous and than I know the G5, it seems, I know which it just seems felt kind of just like milk toast because every phone looks like this. But, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I mean you know? there there are subtle subtle variations Absolutely. here. Absolutely, I like that how the how the display kind of has this drip over the edge down there on the sides, like like a third of the way down uh, the sides of the device. Um, although if you drop it on that thing, that's probably not going to be yeah, very fun. Yeah, it's probably going to it's probably going to get a little scratched up. Yeah, in the meantime, I, cool. fixed, I fixed your phone for you. Um, oh yeah, there you go. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. I think maybe. Yeah. Ron is the best. He is so cool. <laughs> is is what it says. Yeah, in the top. Is what it says in the on the shot. Top. Yeah. Do you over the shot, please, if you don't mind. 
Ron is the best. She is so cool. I'm going to leave that there. That's yeah. a great way to screw people. When they get you their phone, you can change that. Can, can, can I just, just see the it best. for a second? He is so cool.